Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Dead by Daylight. I am your humble host, Dick MC, and tonight we are playing game 30 of Bubba. No perks, no add-ons. Uh, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Please consider giving a like and subscribe. Uh, what do you mean no perks, no add-ons? I mean no perks. I mean no add-ons. Uh, why do I do it without perks and add-ons? Well, uh, I, I see a lot of chatter in the community, a lot of content creators. Uh, the, the, the statement is, you can't win as killer, uh, uh, you, you need, you need all those Chen slowdown perks. Um, <clears throat> there are a lot of assertions. Uh, so I decided to take it to the test that is most extreme. I play all, I, I play killers, no perks, no add-ons. I don't do it exclusively, but I do it a whole lot more. If I put on a build, it's usually because I'm kind of in a rotten mood and I want some easy wins. Um, so... I've done 100 games of Trapper, and I won 3k or more. I won 57 of them. Played 100 games of Wraith, I won 56 of them. Played 100 games of Billy, I won 60 of them. I played 100 games of Doctor, I won 55. All of those games are on this YouTube channel, uh, so you, you don't have to take my word for it. I also track all the stats, the downs, the hooks, the time it takes to get each hook, the time it takes for the gens to get done, all of that. If you want to, uh, these guys, they create this argument like, well, see, it is easy to win. I'm like, eh, yeah, okay. Uh, uh, but then you come over here. These are the killers you want to talk about if you want to create a, a, a contrary opinion. Shape is the only killer I played 100 games with, and I have more losses than wins. However... If you add my ties, my 2Ks, to my wins, I had more of non-losses than losses. Uh, Hag, I did indeed have a winning record. I went 42, 41, and 17. But I still didn't crack the 51 percentile range overall. So these are where your arguments are at. Uh, but, I mean, I had the data. The best argument you can make, the, the best argument you can have is to try it out. Uh, play 100 games, no perks, no add-ons, and see how it goes. Uh, I am currently 13, 11, and 5. Now, 13 is not 50% of 29. Uh, so, for me, uh, I'm winning. I have more wins and losses. That's, that's a good place to be. Uh, I'm trying to uh, gain some ground. And so, we're going to play game 30 right now. On a final note on how all this goes, uh, how am I able to do this? Well, uh, depending upon who you ask, uh, the first thing I will acknowledge without any debate or, or, or argument or hedging, uh, the simple truth of the matter is uh, I absolutely camp and tunnel. Why? Well, because it works. More importantly, uh, I'm trying to show that as long as you have camping and tunneling, you, you don't really need anything. And that's a problem because if you bring all those perks and you're willing to camp and tun tunnel, how much, you know, how fair can it be? Now, here I go. I got, a, I got a streamer. I got two flashlights. Now, what the flashlights typically mean is they're, they're not really going to be hungry on gens. They're going to want they're going to want the flashy saves. And that actually helps me. Uh, if I can be aware and know it, when I get it down, I know full well that I'm going to get, I'm going to get uh, uh, a chance to snowball if I'm smart enough with what I'm doing. At the very least, I have reason to hope that the gen efficiency isn't going to go. I will acknowledge gen efficiency. <coughs> what I've learned overall is if I can keep a game over 500, uh, five, 500 seconds, I probably have a good chance of winning. I, I don't have the record for fastest gens, but I know it was in the 200s, 240, 230, somewhere in that neighborhood. So if gens are flying, it doesn't matter. And if gens are uh, not progressing for one reason or another, then, uh, you know, uh, I have a shot. But uh, where that kind of comes into play is, is I need quick downs. Because that creates pressure on the survivors. They either have to anticipate, they either have to anticipate uh, um, going for the hook, which allows me to camp or tunnel, or uh, and even if even if I let them, there's a survivor leaving a gen to go get another survivor who's not on a gen. Uh, that is useful to me. 
so we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I'm on game 30. This is the second game of a split. So if I can, uh, if I can keep the, uh, if I can uh, uh, get a win, then I'm going to get a win. I'm going to get out. Uh, uh, a win means, hey, I've done my job. Uh, I can move on and do other things. Uh, if I lose, I might play the remain. I might play all of the remaining three games, uh, uh, but I will not play more than three because what I've learned in previous iterations is if you're falling down a rabbit hole, if you're on a skid and you're losing, the better solution is just switch switch roles. Or in my case, if I were really just playing normally, I, I could just throw on perks. Uh, this is not my favorite map. Uh, I I. I I don't feel great, guys. This is not... And then they got a hill gen. That's fine. He wants me to chase. I do not want to chase. I'm not gonna sit there and chase a the guy. There's that. Oh no, you're right there. But she... She have what's that perk? Where you get this? I do not get it. Okay, there's a the flashlight. Now where's the flashlight? Right here. Give me that power, please. I will take it. Wow. It should be okay. I'm not okay. Wow, that was a good save. I tried. Oops. What? No, what? I get this. I lose my three gen. Live. Now I have some advantage. Now they are in a lot of trouble. They done messed up. So, now I have some advantage. Kick this. Look over here. Are they there? They're not even near there. I don't need to block that off. That guy's out. Now... They can get all the gens done, and that's fine. But... <laughs> now, do you have... Probably has. I wouldn't. I wouldn't anticipate deliverance with the perk like that. That's what I would expect. There's another gen.
They can't. Well, I got a three gen here. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give her the access she needs. Done. Now I got my two K. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so, so much. I'm gonna go ahead and wait out your inevitable decisive. Actually, I can do that right here. Forty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, sixty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19. Why are you doing that, Kai? You're like right there. I know you are. I waited out. I got it here. And now I know you're here. That's even better. that okay well, let's see if it shows up here in this building and there's my win there's the hatch that's fine I got a win what on it did I have I had one one two three four Five. I had five hooks, four kill. No, five hooks, three kills, one escape, uh, one gen left. All right, so let's do that again. Five hooks, uh, three kills, one gen left, one escaped out of the hatch, and uh, that was in Yamaoka against Splash Eye Bullies. Uh, that that Ash really kind of messed up. That Ash really gave me some good stuff. And then uh, I guess the Adam had deliverance, except for the survivor he YOLO'd, then got YOLO'd. So that didn't work out for him either. Uh, you know, hey, it, it was uh, it was a nice attempt. Uh, I thought for a minute that they were going to let that one die and get the gens in GG next. But uh, altruism, altruism is the perk killers never have to bring. So uh, yeah, that's a win. I'm having a good time of it. And uh, we'll see kind of where it goes from there. Uh, for now, let's just check and see if, uh, yeah, they're there. All right, so, uh, I think I'll join up with, uh, the, the rest of the team, and we'll kind of go from there.
Hey, what's up? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not butting in on anything, am I? All right. All right. You rock out the custom.